What is the Beaufort scale? The Beaufort scale was devised in 1805 by a British admiral. Sir Francis Beaufort, 1774-1857, to help mariners in handling ships. It uses a series of numbers from 0 to 17 to indicate wind speeds and applies to both land and sea. Who prepared the first weather map? The first weather map was prepared by Francis Galton, 1822 to 1911. In 1862, his initial map was prepared by requesting detailed information about the weather in the month of December 1861 from weather stations throughout the British Isles. He plotted the data he collected, drawing the world's first weather map. What are the four CS of diamonds? The four CS are cut, color, clarity, and carrot. Cut refers to the proportions, finish, symmetry, and polish of the diamond. These factors determine the brilliance of a diamond. Color describes the amount of color the diamond contains. Color ranges from colorless to yellow with tints of yellow, gray, or brown. Colors can also range from intense yellow to the more rare blue, green, pink, and red. Clarity describes the cleanness or purity of a diamond. As determined by the number and size of imperfections. Carrot is the weight of the diamond. When was the first weather satellite launched? The first weather satellite, the television and infrared observation satellite, Tyros I, was launched by NASA on April 1, 1960. Although the images were not of the same resolution as we have now, they were able to reveal the organization and structure of clouds and storms. One of its accomplishments was to see a previously undetected tropical storm near Australia. The information was conveyed to the people so they could prepare for the approaching storm. It operated for 77 days until mid-June 1960 when an electrical fire caused it to cease operating. What is an Alberta Clipper? An Alberta Clipper is a little gyrating storm that develops on the Pacific front. Usually over the Rocky Mountains of Alberta, Canada. This quick moving storm moves southeast into the Great Plains, leaving a trail of cold air. Who is associated with developing the concept of wind chill? The Antarctic explorer Paul A. Sippel, 
1908-1968, coined the term wind chill in his 1939 dissertation. Adaptation of the explorer to the climate of Antarctica Sippel was the youngest member of Admiral Richard Byrd's Antarctica expedition in 1928-1930. And later made other trips to the Antarctic as part of Byrd's staff. And for the U.S. Department of the Interior assigned to the U.S. Antarctic Expedition. He also served in many other endeavors related to the study of cold climates. Is a halo around the sun or moon a sign of rain or snow approaching? The presence of a ring around the sun or, more commonly, the moon in the night sky indicates very high ice crystals composing cirrostratus clouds. The brighter the ring, the greater the odds of precipitation and the sooner it may be expected. Rain or snow will not always fall, but two times out of three. Precipitation will start to fall within 12 to 18 hours. These seraform clouds are a forerunner of an approaching warm front and an associated low pressure system. What is the Fujita and Pearson Tornado Scale? The Fujita and Pearson Tornado Scale was developed in 1971 by University of Chicago Professor T. Theodore Fujita, 1920-1998, and Alan Pearson, 1925 who was then the director of the National Severe Storms Forecast Center. It ranked tornadoes by their wind speed, path, length, and width. Tornadoes are not assessed based on actual wind speed and damage. But rather the scale determines wind speed based on damage. Sometimes known simply as the Fujita scale, the rankings ranged from F0, very weak, to F6, inconceivable. F0 light damage, damage to trees, billboards, and chimneys. F1 moderate damage, mobile homes pushed off their foundations and cars pushed off roads. F2 considerable damage, roofs torn off, mobile homes demolished, and large trees uprooted. F3 severe damage, even well constructed homes torn apart, trees uprooted, and cars lifted off the ground. F4 devastating damage, houses leveled, cars thrown, and objects become flying missiles. F5 incredible damage, structures lifted off foundations and carried away, cars become missiles. Less than 2% of tornadoes are in this category. F6 and F6 tornado has never been recorded, but we surmise the damage would be devastating. What is Galena? Galena is a lead sulfide, PBS, and the most common ore of lead, containing 86.6% lead. Lead gray in color, with a brilliant metallic luster, Galena has a specific gravity of 7.5 and a hardness of 2.5 on the most scale. And usually occurs as cubes or a modification of an octahedral form. 
Mined in Australia, it is also found in Canada, China, Mexico, Peru, and the United States, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Montana, and Idaho. When did modern weather forecasting begin? On May 14, 1692, a weekly newspaper, a collection for the improvement of husbandry and trade, gave a seven-day table with pressure and wind readings for the comparable dates of the previous year. Readers were expected to make up their own forecasts from the data. Other journals soon followed with their own weather features. In 1771, a new journal called the Monthly Weather Paper was completely devoted to weather prediction. The first daily newspaper weather report was published on August 31, 1848 in the Daily News in London. The first daily weather forecast was published in the Times of London in 1860 The first broadcast of weather forecasts was done by the University of Wisconsin Station 9XM at Madison, Wisconsin, on January 3, 1921. What are the three main groups of rocks? Rocks can be conveniently placed into one of three groups igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks, such as granite, pegmatite, rhyolite, obsidian, gabbro, and basalt are formed by the solidification of molten magma that emerges through Earth's crust via volcanic activity. The nature and properties of the crystals vary greatly, depending in part on the composition of the original magma and partly on the conditions under which the magma solidified. There are thousands of different igneous rock types. For example, granite is formed by slow cooling of molten material, within the earth. It has large crystals of quartz, feldspars, and mica. Sedimentary rocks, such as breccia, sandstone, shale, limestone, chert, and coals, are produced by the accumulation of sediments. These are fine rock particles or fragments, skeletons of microscopic organisms. Or minerals leached from rocks that have accumulated from weathering. These sediments are then redeposited underwater and later compressed in layers over time. The most common sedimentary rock is sandstone, which is predominantly quartz crystals. Metamorphic rocks, such as marble, slate, schist, gneiss, quartzite, and hornsful, are formed by the alteration of igneous and sedimentary rocks through heat and slash or pressure. One example of these physical and chemical changes is the formation of marble from thermal changes in limestone. Which diamond is the world's largest? The Cullinan diamond, weighing 3,106 carats, is the world's largest. It was discovered on January 25, 1905, at the Premier Diamond Mine, 
Transvaal, South Africa. Named for Sir Thomas M. Cullinan, 1862 to 1936, chairman of the Premier Diamond Company. It was cut into nine major stones and 96 smaller brilliants. The total weight of the cut stones was 1,063 carats, only 35% of the original weight. Cullinan I, also known as the Great Star of Africa or the First Star of Africa, is a pear-shaped diamond weighing 530.2 carats. It is 2.12 inches, 5.4 centimeters, long, 1.75 inches, 4.4 centimeters. Wide, and 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, thick at its deepest point. It was presented to Britain's King Edward VII, 1841 to 1910, in 1907 and was set in the British monarch's scepter with the cross. It is still the largest cut diamond in the world. Cullinan II, also known as the second star of Africa, is an oblong stone that weighs 317.4 carats. It is set in the British imperial state crown. What are Halcyon Days? This term is often used to refer to a time of peace or prosperity. Among sailors, it is the two-week period of calm weather before and after the shortest day of the year. Approximately December 21st. The phrase is taken from Halcyon. The name the ancient Greeks gave to the kingfisher. According to legend, the Halcyon built its nest on the surface of the ocean and was able to quiet the winds while its eggs were hatching. Are there trees that predict the weather and tell time? Observing the leaves of a tree may be an old-fashioned method of predicting the weather. But farmers have noted that when maple leaves curl and turn bottom up in a blowing wind, rain is sure to follow. Woodsmen claim they can tell how rough a winter is going to be by the density of lichens on a nut tree. Trees can also be extraordinary timekeepers, Griffonia, in tropical West Africa, has 2 inch, 5 centimeter. Inflated pods that burst with a hearty noise, indicating that it is time for farmers of the Acre Plains to plant crops. Trichilia is a 60-foot, 18-meter, tree that flowers in February and again in August. Signaling that it is time, just before the second rains arrive, for the second planting of corn. In the Fiji Islands, planting yams is cued by the flowering of the coral tree. How are diamonds weighed? The basic unit is a carat, which is set at 200 mg, 0.00704 ounces or 1 slash 142 of an avoirdupois ounce. A well cut, Round diamond of 1 carat measures almost exactly 0.25 inch, 6.3 millimeters, in diameter. Another unit commonly used is the point, which is one hundredth of a carat. 
A stone of 1 carat weighs 100 points. Carat as a unit of weight should not be confused with the term. Carat used to indicate purity of the gold into which gems are mounted. What is the difference between cubic zirconium and diamonds? Cubic zirconium is a gemstone material that is an imitation of diamonds. The word imitation is key. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission defines Imitation materials as resembling the natural material in appearance only. Cubic zirconium may be cut the same way as diamonds. It is very dense and solid, weighing 1.7 times more than a diamond of the same millimeter size. What is the difference between cubic zirconium and diamonds? Cubic zirconium is a gemstone material that is an imitation of diamonds. The word imitation is key. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission defines Imitation materials as resembling the natural material in appearance only. Cubic zirconium may be cut the same way as diamonds. It is very dense and solid, weighing 1.7 times more than a diamond of the same millimeter size. Besides the Cullinan diamonds, what are the largest precious stones? The largest ruby is a 8,500 carat stone that is 5.5 inches. 14 centimeters, tall, carved to resemble the Liberty Bell. The largest star ruby is the 6,465 carat eminent star from India that has a six-line star. The largest cut emerald was found in Carniba, Brazil, in August 1974. It is 86,136 carats. A 2,302 carat sapphire from Anarchy, Queensland, Australia was carved into a 1,318 carat head of Abraham Lincoln, making it the largest carved sapphire. The Lone Star, at 9,719.5 carats, is the largest star sapphire. The largest natural pearl is the Pearl of Lao Tzu, also called the Pearl of Allah. Found in May 1934 in the shell of a giant clam at Palawan. Philippines, the pearl weighs 14 pounds, 1 ounce, 6.4 kilograms. Besides the Cullinan diamonds, what are the largest precious stones? The largest ruby is a 8,500 carat stone that is 5.5 inches. 14 centimeters, tall, carved to resemble the Liberty Bell. The largest star ruby is the 6,465 carat eminent star from India that has a six line star. The largest cut emerald was found in Carniba, Brazil in August 1974. It is 86,136 carats.
a 2302 carat sapphire from Anarchy, Queensland, Australia. Was carved into a 1318 carat head of Abraham Lincoln, making it the largest carved sapphire. The Lone Star, at 9719.5 carats, is the largest star sapphire. The largest natural pearl is the Pearl of Lao Tzu, also called the Pearl of Allah. Found in May 1934 in the shell of a giant clam at Palawan. Philippines, the pearl weighs 14 pounds, 1 ounce, 6.4 kilograms. What is cubic zirconium? Cubic zirconium was discovered in 1937 by two German mineralogists, M. V. Stackelbug and K. Chudoba. It became popular with jewelry designers in the 1970s after Soviet scientists under the direction of V.V. Osaka learned how to grow the mineral in the Lebedev Physical Institute laboratory. Most of the cubic zirconium on the market is chemically composed of zirconium oxide and yttrium oxide. The two compounds are melted together at a very high temperature. Almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit 2,760 degrees Celsius, using the skull melt method. This method uses a radio frequency generator to heat the zirconium oxide. A careful cooling of the mixture produces the flawless crystals that become cubic zirconia gemstones. What is cubic zirconium? Cubic zirconium was discovered in 1937 by two German mineralogists, M. V. Stackelbug and K. Chudoba. It became popular with jewelry designers in the 1970s after Soviet scientists under the direction of V.V. Osaka learned how to grow the mineral in the Lebedev Physical Institute laboratory. Most of the cubic zirconium on the market is chemically composed of zirconium oxide and yttrium oxide. The two compounds are melted together at a very high temperature. Almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit 2,760 degrees Celsius, using the skull melt method. This method uses a radio frequency generator to heat the zirconium oxide. A careful cooling of the mixture produces the flawless crystals that become cubic zirconia gemstones. How does the emerald get its color? Emerald is a variety of green barrel, B3L2SI6018, that is colored by a trace of chromium. CR, which replaces the aluminum, AL, in the barrel structure. Other green barrels exist, but if no chromium is present, they are, technically speaking, not emeralds. How does the emerald get its color? Emerald is a variety of green barrel, 
USB 3 AL2 SI6018, that is colored by a trace of chromium. CR, which replaces the aluminum, AL, in the barrel structure. Other green barrels exist, but if no chromium is present, they are, technically speaking, not emeralds. Which two gems contain the mineral corundum? Both rubies and sapphires contain the mineral corundum, Al203. Chromium, Cr, ions replace small amounts of aluminum in rubies giving them their characteristic red color. In sapphires, iron, Fe, and titanium, Ti. Ions replace some of the aluminum producing the characteristic blue color. Which two gems contain the mineral corundum? Both rubies and sapphires contain the mineral corundum, Al203. Chromium, Cr, ions replace small amounts of aluminum in rubies giving them their characteristic red color. In sapphires, iron, Fe, and titanium, Ti. Ions replace some of the aluminum producing the characteristic blue color. How is the star in star sapphires produced? Sapphires are composed of gem quality corundum, Al203. Color appears in sapphires when small amounts of iron and titanium are present. Star sapphires contain needles of the mineral rutile that will display as a 6 ray star figure when cut in the unfaceted cabochon, dome or convex, form. The most highly prized star sapphires are blue. Black or white star sapphires are less valuable. Since a ruby is simply the red variety of corundum, Star rubies also exist. How is the star in star sapphires produced? Sapphires are composed of gem quality corundum, Al203. Color appears in sapphires when small amounts of iron and titanium are present. Star sapphires contain needles of the mineral rutile that will display as a 6 ray star figure when cut in the unfaceted cabochon, dome or convex, form. The most highly prized star sapphires are blue. Black or white star sapphires are less valuable. Since a ruby is simply the red variety of corundum, star rubies also exist. What is a tiger's eye? Tiger's eye is a semi-precious quartz gem that has a vertical luminescent band like that of a cat's eye. To achieve the effect of a cat's eye.
veins of parallel blue asbestos fibers are first altered to iron oxides and then replaced by silica. The gem has a rich yellow to yellow brown or brown color. What is a tiger's eye? Tiger's eye is a semi-precious quartz gem that has a vertical luminescent band like that of a cat's eye. To achieve the effect of a cat's eye, veins of parallel blue asbestos fibers are first altered to iron oxides and then replaced by silica. The gem has a rich yellow to yellow brown or brown color. What is Colton? Colton is the shortened name for the metallic or columbite tantalite. When refined it becomes a heat-resistant powder, tantalum, which can hold a high electrical charge. These properties make it a vital element in creating capacitors. The electronic elements that control current flow inside miniature circuit boards. Tantalum capacitors are used in almost all cell phones. Laptop computers, pagers, and other electrical devices. What is Colton? Colton is the shortened name for the metallic or columbite tantalite. When refined it becomes a heat-resistant powder, tantalum, which can hold a high electrical charge. These properties make it a vital element in creating capacitors. The electronic elements that control current flow inside miniature circuit boards. Tantalum capacitors are used in almost all cell phones. Laptop computers, pagers, and other electrical devices. Which metallic element is the most abundant? Aluminum is the most abundant metallic element on the surface of Earth and the Moon. It comprises more than 8% of Earth's crust. It is never free in nature, combining with oxygen. Sand, iron, titanium, and other substances, its ores are mainly bauxites, aluminum hydroxide. Nearly all rocks, particularly igneous rocks, contain aluminum as aluminosilicate minerals. Napoleon III, 1808 to 1883, recognized that the physical characteristic of its lightness could revolutionize the arms industry, so he granted a large subsidy to French chemist Saint Clair de Ville. 1818 to 1881, to develop a method to make its commercial use feasible. In 1854, Deville obtained the first pure aluminum metal. Through the process of reduction of aluminum chloride. In 1886, American Charles Martin Hall, 1863 to 1914, and Frenchman Paul Herold, 1863 to 1914, independently discovered an electrolytic process to produce aluminum from bauxite.
which metallic element is the most abundant? Aluminum is the most abundant metallic element on the surface of Earth and the Moon. It comprises more than 8% of Earth's crust. It is never free in nature, combining with oxygen. Sand, iron, titanium, and other substances, its ores are mainly bauxites, aluminum hydroxide. Nearly all rocks, particularly igneous rocks, contain aluminum as aluminosilicate minerals. Napoleon III, 1808-1883, recognized that the physical characteristic of its lightness could revolutionize the arms industry, so he granted a large subsidy to French chemist Saint Clair de Ville. 1818-1881, to develop a method to make its commercial use feasible. In 1854, Deville obtained the first pure aluminum metal. Through the process of reduction of aluminum chloride. In 1886, American Charles Martin Hall, 1863-1914, and Frenchman Paul Herold, 1863-1914. Independently discovered an electrolytic process to produce aluminum from bauxite. Which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, rail cars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. Because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables, light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware, golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. Which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, rail cars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. 
because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used. 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables. Light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware. Golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. Why are alchemical symbols for metals and astrological symbols for planets identical? The ancient Greeks and Romans knew seven metals and also knew seven planets. The five nearer planets plus the sun and the moon. They related each planet to a specific metal. Alchemy, originating in about the 3rd century BCE. Focused on changing base metals, such as lead, into gold. Although at times alchemy bordered on mysticism, it contains centuries of chemical experience. Which provided the foundation for the development of modern chemistry. Why are alchemical symbols for metals and astrological symbols for planets identical? The ancient Greeks and Romans knew seven metals and also knew seven planets. The five nearer planets plus the sun and the moon. They related each planet to a specific metal. Alchemy, originating in about the 3rd century BCE. Focused on changing base metals, such as lead, into gold. Although at times alchemy bordered on mysticism, it contains centuries of chemical experience. Which provided the foundation for the development of modern chemistry. What are the precious metals? This is a general term for expensive metals that are used for making coins, jewelry, and ornaments. The name is limited to gold, silver, and platinum. Expense or rarity does not make a metal precious. But rather it is a value set by law that states that the object made of these metals has a certain intrinsic value. The term is not synonymous with noble metals, although a metal such as platinum, may be both noble and precious. What are the precious metals? This is a general term for expensive metals that are used for making coins, jewelry, and ornaments. The name is limited to gold, silver, and platinum. 
expense or rarity does not make a metal precious. But rather it is a value set by law that states that the object made of these metals has a certain intrinsic value. The term is not synonymous with noble metals, although a metal such as platinum, may be both noble and precious. Which hurricane names have been retired? Once a hurricane has done a great deal of damage and caused loss of life. Its name is retired from the six-year list cycle. Countries affected by such hurricanes will petition the WMO to have the name retired and replaced with a new name. What was the greatest natural disaster in you? S. History The greatest natural disaster occurred when a hurricane struck Galveston, Texas, on September 8, 1900, and killed over 8,000 people. How long do most tornadoes last? Most tornadoes have short lifespans. Lasting less than 10 minutes though they may be as short as only several seconds. Some may last an hour or longer. Tornadoes during the early to mid-1900s were often reported to be longer-lived. Though many climatologists believe these may have been tornado series instead of one single event. An average tornado will travel 5 miles, 8 kilometers, during its lifespan. The tornado of March 18, 1925 traveled 219 miles, 352 kilometers, through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana at an average speed of 60 to 73 miles per hour, 97 to 117 kilometers per hour. How are fossils formed? Fossils are the remains of animals or plants that were preserved in rock before the beginning of recorded history. It is unusual for complete organisms to be preserved, fossils usually represent the hard parts of animals, such as bones or shells, and leaves, seeds, or woody parts of plants. Some fossils are simply the bones, teeth, or shells themselves, which can be preserved for a relatively short period of time. How does a rock differ from a mineral? Mineralogists use the term mineral for a substance that has all four of the following features. It must be found in nature, it must be made up of substances that were never alive, organic. It has the same chemical makeup wherever it is found, and its atoms are arranged in a regular pattern to form solid crystals. 
although rocks are sometimes described as an aggregate or combination of one or more minerals. Geologists extend the definition to include clay, loose sand, and certain limestones. What is cubic zirconium? Cubic zirconium was discovered in 1937 by two German mineralogists, M. V. Stackelberg and K. Chudoba. It became popular with jewelry designers in the 1970s after Soviet scientists under the direction of V.V. Osaka learned how to grow the mineral in the Lebedev Physical Institute laboratory. Most of the cubic zirconium on the market is chemically composed of zirconium oxide and yttrium oxide. The two compounds are melted together at a very high temperature. Almost 5000 degrees Fahrenheit 2760 degrees Celsius, using the skull melt method. This method uses a radio frequency generator to heat the zirconium oxide. A careful cooling of the mixture produces the flawless crystals that become cubic zirconia gemstones. What is the Mohs scale? The Mohs scale is a standard of 10 minerals by which the hardness of a mineral is rated. It was introduced in 1812 by the German mineralogist Friedrich Mohs, 1773-1839. The minerals are arranged from softest to hardest. Harder minerals with higher numbers can scratch those with a lower number. What is the composition of the rock of Gibraltar? It is composed of grey limestone, with a dark shale overlay on parts of its western slopes. Located on a peninsula at the southern extremity of Spain, the Rock of Gibraltar is a mountain at the east end of the Strait of Gibraltar. The narrow passage between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The rock is 1,398 feet. 425 meters, tall at its highest point. How old are fossils? The oldest known fossils are of bacteria that left their impressions approximately 3.5 billion years ago. The oldest animal fossils are of invertebrates that lived approximately 700 million years ago. The largest number of fossils come from the Cambrian period of 505 to 590 million years ago. When living organisms began to develop skeletons and hard parts. Since these parts tended to last longer than ordinary tissue. They were more likely to be preserved in clay and become fossilized. From what type of stone was Mount Rushmore National Memorial carved? Granite 
The monument, in the Black Hills of southwestern South Dakota, depicts the 60-foot high. 18-meter high, faces of four United States presidents, George Washington, 1732 to 1799. Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826, Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865, and Theodore Roosevelt, 1858 to 1919. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum, 1867 to 1941, designed the monument. But died before the completion of the project, his son, Lincoln, finished it. From 1927 to 1941, 360 people, mostly construction workers, drillers, and miners, carved the figures using dynamite. What is the biggest known tornado? The tornado on May 22, 2004 in Hallam. Nebraska holds the record for the peak width of any tornado at nearly 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, across. Who was the first person to attempt a color standardization scheme for minerals? The German mineralogist Abraham Gottlob Werner, c. 1750 to 1817, devised a method of describing minerals by their external characteristics, including color. He worked out an arrangement of colors and color names, illustrated by an actual set of minerals. What is a tektite? Tektites are silica-rich glass objects, rocks, found scattered in selected regions of Earth's surface. They are generally black, oblong, teardrop, or dumbbell-shaped, and several centimeters in length. They are formed from molten rock resulting when a meteorite, asteroid, or comet fragment impacts Earth's surface. The molten rock is hurled high into the atmosphere, where it rapidly cools into its unique shape and physical characteristics. Their mode of formation is considered indisputable evidence of such impacts. Tektites range from 0.7 to 35 million years in age. What is Colton? Colton is the shortened name for the metallic or columbite tantalite. When refined it becomes a heat-resistant powder, tantalum, which can hold a high electrical charge. These properties make it a vital element in creating capacitors. The electronic elements that control current flow inside miniature circuit boards. Tantalum capacitors are used in almost all cell phones. Laptop computers, pagers, and other electrical devices.
Besides the Kulinan diamonds, what are the largest precious stones? The largest ruby is a 8,500 carat stone that is 5.5 inches. 14 centimeters, tall, carved to resemble the Liberty Bell. The largest star ruby is the 6,465 carat eminent star from India that has a six-line star. The largest cut emerald was found in Carniba, Brazil, in August 1974. It is 86,136 carats. A 2,302 carat sapphire from Anarchy, Queensland, Australia. Was carved into a 1,318 carat head of Abraham Lincoln, making it the largest carved sapphire. The Lone Star, at 9,719.5 carats, is the largest star sapphire. The largest natural pearl is the Pearl of Lao Tzu, also called the Pearl of Allah. Found in May 1934 in the shell of a giant clam at Palawan. Philippines, the pearl weighs 14 pounds, 1 ounce, 6.4 kilograms. Which two gems contain the mineral corundum? Both rubies and sapphires contain the mineral corundum, Al-203. Chromium, Cr, ions replace small amounts of aluminum in rubies giving them their characteristic red color. In sapphires, iron, Fe, and titanium, Ti. Ions replace some of the aluminum producing the characteristic blue color. How are hurricanes classified? The Saffir slash Simpson hurricane damage potential scale assigns numbers 1 through 5 to measure the disaster potential of a hurricane's winds and its accompanying storm surge. The purpose of the scale, developed in 1971 by Herbert Saffir, 1917 to 2007, and Robert Simpson, 1912 is to help disaster agencies gauge the potential significance of these storms in terms of assistance. Minimal no real damage to building structures. Some tree, shrubbery, and mobile home damage. Coastal road flooding and minor pier damage. Moderate some roof, window, and door damage. Considerable damage to vegetation, mobile homes, and piers. Coastal and low-lying escape routes flood two to four hours before center of storm arrives. Small craft can break moorings in unprotected areas. Extensive some structural damage to small or residential buildings. Mobile. Homes destroyed. Flooding near coast destroys structures and floods of homes 5 feet. 1.5 meters, above sea level as far inland as 6 miles, 9.5 kilometers. Extreme extensive roof, window, and door damage. Major damage to lower floors of structures near the shore and some roof failure on small residences. Complete beach erosion. Flooding of terrain 10 feet, 3 meters.
above sea level as far as 6 miles, 9.5 kilometers, inland requiring massive residential evacuation. Catastrophic complete roof failure to many buildings. Some complete building failure, with small utility buildings blown away. Major damage to lower floors of all structures 19 feet, 5.75 meters. Above sea level located within 500 yards, 547 meters, of the shoreline. Massive evacuation of residential areas on low ground 5 to 10 miles. 8 to 16 kilometers, from shoreline may be required. Why are alchemical symbols for metals and astrological symbols for planets identical? The ancient Greeks and Romans knew seven metals and also knew seven planets. The five nearer planets plus the sun and the moon. They related each planet to a specific metal. Alchemy, originating in about the 3rd century BCE. Focused on changing base metals, such as lead, into gold. Although at times alchemy bordered on mysticism, it contained centuries of chemical experience. Which provided the foundation for the development of modern chemistry. What is the difference between cubic zirconium and diamonds? Cubic zirconium is a gemstone material that is an imitation of diamonds. The word imitation is key. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission defines Imitation materials as resembling the natural material in appearance only. Cubic zirconium may be cut the same way as diamonds. It is very dense and solid, weighing 1.7 times more than a diamond of the same millimeter size. Another type of fossil is the imprint of a what are Indian dollars? They are six-sided, disc-shaped, twin crystals of aragonite, CACO3, which have altered to calcite but retain their outer form. They occur in large numbers in northern Colorado, where they are known as Indian dollars. In New Mexico they are called Aztec money and in western Kansas they are called pioneer dollars. When do most tornadoes happen? Tornadoes can happen at any time of the year and at any time during the day or night. Tornadoes are most likely to happen in the United States during March through August. There is a general northward shift in the tornado season from late winter through midsummer. Regionally, tornado activity increases in the central Gulf Coast as early as February then shifts to the southeastern Atlantic states in March and April before moving to the southern plains in May and early June. The greatest amount of tornado activity is in June and July in the northern plains and upper Midwest. Statistically, 
most tornadoes strike between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. How many fatalities occur each year in the United States due to tornadoes? During the past 30 years, 1979 to 2008, an average of 57 people were killed each year by tornadoes. Nearly identical to the average number of people killed by lightning during the same time period. The 10-year average, 1999 to 2008, for deaths due to tornadoes was 63 people per year. What is the origin of the term hurricane? The term hurricane is derived from hurricane. The care of God of evil, which was derived from the Mayan god Hurricane. Hurricane was one of the Mayan creator gods who blew his breath across the chaotic water and brought forth dry land. Do tornadoes in the northern and southern hemispheres rotate in the same direction? In general, Tornadoes in the northern hemisphere rotate counterclockwise, cyclonically. While those in the southern hemisphere rotate clockwise, anticyclonically. Occasionally, anticyclonic tornadoes have been observed in the northern hemisphere. Typically, anticyclonic tornadoes in the northern hemisphere are weaker. Twisters associated with weak storm cells or sometimes appearing as water spouts. In 1998, a tornado spinning anticyclonically was observed near Sunnyvale, California. Rarer, but still possible, is a supercell, which generates both cyclonic and anticyclonic tornadoes. What is a tiger's eye? Tiger's eye is a semi-precious quartz gem that has a vertical luminescent band like that of a cat's eye. To achieve the effect of a cat's eye, veins of parallel blue asbestos fibers are first altered to iron oxides and then replaced by silica. The gem has a rich yellow to yellow-brown or brown color. What is cinnabar? Cinnabar is the main ore of the mineral mercury. Its cinnamon to scarlet red color makes it a colorful mineral. It is produced primarily in the United States, California, Oregon, Texas, and Arkansas, Spain, Italy, and Mexico. It is often used as a pigment. How do hurricanes get their names? Since 1950, hurricane names have been officially selected from library sources and are 
decided on during the international meetings of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO. The names are chosen to reflect the cultures and languages found in the Atlantic, Caribbean, and Hawaiian regions. When a tropical storm with rotary action and wind speeds above 39 miles, 63 kilometers per hour develops, the National Hurricane Center near Miami, Florida. Selects a name from one of the six listings for Region 4, Atlantic and Caribbean area. Letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z are not included because of the scarcity of names beginning with those letters. Which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation. Industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, rail cars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. Because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used. 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables. Light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware. Golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. What is petrology and what does a petrologist do? Petrology is the science of rocks. A petrologist is a person who studies the mineralogy of rocks. And the record of the geological past contained within rocks. From rocks, a petrologist can learn about past climates and geography. Past and present composition of the earth, and the conditions that prevail within the interior of the earth. What are the precious metals? This is a general term for expensive metals that are used for making coins, jewelry, and ornaments. The name is limited to gold, silver, and platinum. Expense or rarity does not make a metal precious. But rather it is a value set by law that states that the object made of these metals has a certain intrinsic value. The term is not synonymous with noble metals, although a metal such as platinum, may be both noble and precious.
How is the star in star sapphires produced? Sapphires are composed of gem quality corundum, Al203. Color appears in sapphires when small amounts of iron and titanium are present. Star sapphires contain needles of the mineral rutile that will display as a 6 ray star figure when cut in the unfaceted cabochon, dome or convex, form. The most highly prized star sapphires are blue. Black or white star sapphires are less valuable. Since a ruby is simply the red variety of corundum, star rubies also exist. Which metallic element is the most abundant? Aluminum is the most abundant metallic element on the surface of Earth and the Moon. It comprises more than 8% of Earth's crust. It is never free in nature, combining with oxygen. Sand, iron, titanium, and other substances, its ores are mainly bauxites, aluminum hydroxide. Nearly all rocks, particularly igneous rocks, contain aluminum as aluminosilicate minerals. Napoleon III, 1808-1883, recognized that the physical characteristic of its lightness could revolutionize the arms industry, so he granted a large subsidy to French chemist Saint Clair de Ville. 1818-1881, to develop a method to make its commercial use feasible. In 1854, Deville obtained the first pure aluminum metal. Through the process of reduction of aluminum chloride. In 1886, American Charles Martin Hall, 1863-1914, and Frenchman Paul Herold, 1863-1914. Independently discovered an electrolytic process to produce aluminum from bauxite. If diamond is the hardest substance, what is the next hardest substance? Cubic boron nitride which is the hardest ceramic, is the second hardest substance in the world. How many tornadoes occur in the United States each year? There are about 1,000 tornadoes in the United States each year. Compiling an actual average is difficult since reporting methods have changed over the last several decades so the officially recorded tornado climatologies are believed to be incomplete. Some tornadoes, especially ones that cause little or no damage in remote areas, may not be reported. The three-year average for 2007 to 2009 is 1,316 tornadoes per year. The largest single outbreak of tornadoes occurred on April 3 and 4, 1974. 148 tornadoes were recorded in this super outbreak in the Great Plains and Midwestern states. Six of these tornadoes had winds greater than 260 miles, 420 kilometers per hour and some of them were the strongest ever recorded.
Have wind speeds during tornadoes been accurately measured? No, tornado wind speeds have been scientifically estimated using Doppler radar and video observations. But there have been no successful attempts to physically measure wind speeds using an anemometer. Many severe tornadoes will destroy an anemometer before it records the wind speed during a tornado. Furthermore, they may occur in many random locations without equipment in place to measure wind speed. How does the emerald get its color? Emerald is a variety of green beryl, B3L2SI6018, that is colored by a trace of chromium. CR, which replaces the aluminum, AL, in the barrel structure. Other green barrels exist, but if no chromium is present, they are, technically speaking, not emeralds. <laughs>